Hello everyone, we're in round three, and we're against Viachino Peruano. Um, usually some sort of burn or Bur Boros Monarch deck, so this is usually a good keep here. I will preordain, looking for a fam. I don't know if two is good, but one is good. It's unfortunate I have to drop that one, but we're going to need lands. So Bajukabog indicates... Boros Monarch or a, uh, okay. If it's Boros Monarch or if it's, okay, in this, I'm sorry. Let me just pick up my land. Okay, let's start talking. <laughs> if it's Boros Monarch, then I want to have that Moldrifter, but it looks like it's Pestilence, which is a problem. So, hmm. Land. I really don't want to play against Pestilence. Let's see. I guess I'll just evoke this Drifter so we can see what's up. It's, it might not be. I'm putting back the Deep Analysis because I can draw it. Okay, Secluded Step. Ancient Den. That indicates Boros Monarch. All right, I feel a little bit better now. So, will Sunscape Familiar snap this? Land, Faithful, draw two cards. And that's probably fine for now. Okay, Boris Monarch makes me feel a little bit less scared. Unless it's Pestilence could still be Pestilence. Palace Sentinels. Okay. Still haven't seen any red cards or whatever. Um, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is Manster Snap. Make them play it again. Snap that. So right now I have infinite snaps. Looking for land. Um, I guess that's okay. Get an island. That sucks. So, here comes Prophetic Prism. And then if they just play Core Skyfisher, pick up Prism, I can snap the Skyfisher and attack. Lightning Bolt. Boros Monarch. Here I'm picking up Snap because I don't want them to journey my Archaeomancer. Now I am the Monarch. Faithful. Okay, man, sir, get back Flicker. So now I have infinite snaps, and I'm the Monarch. Not a good spot for them. I have nine cards in hand. Interesting. So I'm going to snap this out. Draw my snap. And then I'm also going to pick up Preordain since I can. And then say go to me. Make them discard some cards. We'll attack.
So now, let's see, I can just cycle this for an island and pre it in. Because if I find my sages row, then it's over. Bottom, bottom. That's a good card. So now I can evoke the Mold Drifter. Snap the Mold Drifter. And then I found the Sages Row. So I just play it. Snap this to uh, save myself some time. Flicker these two. Get back Snap. Put the triggers, maybe the triggers go there. Okay, that's the game. Nice that it was quick. Okay, so there's a couple options here. One is to try to fight um, on the stack and uh, fight their creatures. We definitely not want that. I Usually we can maybe not play Sages Road Denizen and like kind of last breath and kill them that way, but it is very time consuming. I want this. I'm going to go down on my life gain creatures a little bit for some count for more interaction. So now I have five ways to counter their birds, keep them off the table. I have Echoing Truth for Journeys, I have Nature's Chant for Journeys, or Relics, I have Snaps to do some shenanigans, and uh, hopefully have enough draw power to, to live. Removing the Faithfuls can be a problem, but I think it's going to be fine. I'm on the draw. I guess the other option I could do is take out these Snaps completely, and then bring in Last Breaths. And that would mean that they are probably not going to be able to stick a creature. Because sometimes they will do Okiba Gangs post board, but I guess Okiba Gangs post board, we want snaps anyway. So we'll see how this goes. Sometimes post board um, on the draw, you're a bit unfavored. Hmm. I think I'll keep this. But be careful not to misclick and uh, click the chancery. I'm going to get a planes because I want to have the option of countering their turn three creature. I'm trying to think if, if they will do it. If they don't have a turn three creature and I kind of just do nothing, that's not going to be good. So let's pick this up and drop the deep analysis. Hmm. I think here that I have to play the Seagate Oracle. OK, that's good because I wanted to not have my Sunscape Familiar get killed. That's awesome. Sunscape Familiar. Now I can actually snap this and then Drifter Ephemerate. Seems like a good deal. And we did draw into a Godfarer's Faithful. Awesome, awesome. I think I'll just, so if he plays Glenhawk first, I'll counter it, Prophetic Prism first. Uh, so this indicating he cannot play a Monarch this turn. Journey will get prohibited. Kills Moldrifter, okay. 
blame all that. Um, I guess deep analysis. So now let's go Archaeomancer, get back Ephemerate, and then Ephemerate to get back Prohibit. And then that's good. Um, we didn't get any life this turn, but I can counter their birds, which is important. So if I counter this, he can play the Monarch, but I can just snap it, so that's fine. I think I want to use the Remove Soul, though. Save the Prohibited Hand for interaction. Okay, so I'm going to get that back, play out my Faithful, Preordain. Um, I think I want these. Yeah. Play the Chancery, pick up the planes. If I'm right here. Get back snap, snap this, and then I'm going to draw some cards. And the gate's on top, right? So I'll leave both of my uh, counter spells. Ooh, I have three now. Awesome. So I'm going to drop the planes. And then end of turn, get uh, another island. This seems pretty far ahead at this point, so we'll see what happens. I don't ever want to counter the prophetic prisms. You could have an Okiba. It's not that big of a deal. Counter the coarse guy fisher. It's important to keep them from applying pressure and also turning through their deck. I'll just counter this one too. If he has a burn spell for the okay mancer, it's not the end of the world. And I've countered a lot of his creatures. That's already played four of the big creatures that can do stuff to me. I would have expected a red blast to already have happened. Let's just get Prohibit back right away. And then draw with Deep Analysis. And play land. Send. I'm just, I'm trying to keep up as much counter magic as I can, expecting them to draw into Red Blast and things eventually. So here I'm just, I have stops on all the combat steps. Um, and I just kind of just slam okay to get through them. So we've counted one, two, three, four, four birds. So there's three left. Awesome. Might as well go for the gate negate here, um, even though it'll probably die. Yeah, because I can just get him back. Um, do it this way, I guess. Ephemerate, get back, prohibit. Preordain. Okay, I want the sages row for sure. And we'll send. Let's 
So if he attacks now, I can just snap to Palace Sentinels. And he decides not to attack. I think I'm just going to keep getting back counter magic. All right, we got there. Basically just hyper overvalued them. We're already eight cards ahead and uh, had a bunch more cards in hand. Let's see what we're gonna draw. No familiars for a while, so. Probably would have just tried to slow mill them out, but uh, we got there. I'll see you in round four.